Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Great Britain, episode number 37. Uh, still kind of reeling from that last uh, defeat with, with the Ajax. Not, I mean, in battle we're doing okay, but that Ajax being um, scuttled. Uh, I didn't look into the mechanics deeply, but this is what I know from it. Any ship that's on raiding, as you can see we have several, has a chance. And what I, what I know is... If it has long range or if it has um, reliable engines, the chance of these events, negative events, happening to um, raiders is, is less. However, if uh, even when they're just raiding, it's a random event, so it's a random chance. We have like tons of ships that are raiding, let's say this minus three, more or less. So 16, it was 17 ships raiding, and it just so happened that bad luck struck our battle cruiser, the only one raiding. <laughs> or, or maybe there was two battle cruisers raiding, I don't know. Uh, so it's, I think it's just bad luck. I've been corrected that the price, the value of that ship that we sunk into it was 150 million pounds or whatever our money units are in here. So it's pretty terrible. <laughs> it's just, I mean, that's just so much money. It's so much money. And we know that. We know it's so, so much because these things cost, you know, like 6.3 million to build for 27 months or so. So anyway, it's just a pretty devastating. Um, I also explained this on the... Somebody commented that maybe it's because they can't support them. And yeah, that's a very reasonable idea in the real world. But in this game, the mechanic for ships being over the deployment limit is just this number, 56 out of 80. So it's not quite based on tonnage because obviously we don't have 80 or we don't have 56,000 tons here. Do we have something close to it or is it? Wait. So we have, this is the Caribbean, the East Coast. We have 80,000 tons of ships, but for some reason, I don't know how the size points works, but that's considered 56 points worth of ships. And we have an available 80 for us. So I don't know how it all works as far as points. Um, this is our base capacity of 80. I don't know, it's not 80,000 tons, so it's just kind of a, a very obscure mechanic. And that's one thing I, I just, is one complaint anybody, any reasonable person might have about this game is that it's really, a lot of the mechanics are obscure and you can't even figure out what they are after playing for a long time. I've played for hundreds upon hundreds of hours and these things are still a little bit obscure to me. So anyway, um, moving on, let's get into the war because we are winning it and we're going to try to treat our Ajax class a little better. I'm not going to have them raid. Look at that maintenance cost, a million a turn. Okay, machinery, that's good. Um, we're sinking minesweepers, which is not a huge deal. Ten ships sunk, seven submarines lost. That's a really bad ratio. We usually want at least two to one. Still, we're getting some use out of them. They won't, they're will not sinking two ships, but, you know, we're not sinking any, any of their submarines. Uh, their raiders are still being very effective, despite us having all our ships raiding in Europe. And it's just not doing anything to the Americans. Maybe, I think there is a mechanic where the less, you have less chance of raiding if your submarines are already doing a lot of damage to them. So that's something we should consider. Um, coastal raid on the eastern U.S. I guess I'm just going to accept this because I only have battle cruisers there. Interesting, can't muster. It's just a weird event. Why? <laughs> um, and I know that we were um, really working on getting that Victoria built. Um, she's now even better than what she was <laughs> because now she is uh, even better machinery. So, like, I'd like to just clear. Oh, I think it already applied these the benefits because we see it's 400 tons remaining. This should not be there. What is that? Does that translate into... Wait, you know what? No, it doesn't quite translate into a knot, but I'm sure it translates into half an inch of belt. Or maybe not quite half inch of deck. Maybe we just drop this... No, not quite enough. I'd love to get that deck up because that's probably the one thing which is the weakest about this ship. Um, relative to all the other ship parts, I think that's the, the biggest thing. Yeah. And that's just, I mean, I guess we could do this and get the rounds per gun. Oh, wow, just barely can't. Well, we can always put the conning tower down to 13.5. I don't know. Uh, we'll just keep this in the back burner for a little bit longer. 
One thing we probably want to do is start getting some more submarines, because what are we at now? Probably down to like 90? 92, yeah. So let's start building a few more submarines. I know that ideally we should be building um, a repl the newest Dreadnought class as soon as possible that, so that she's ready for the next war. But instead I'm going to build more mine lane subs so that those are ready at least for the next war. And that's probably how we'll be winning all of our wars from here on out. Okay. So one, one idea I just, just popped into my brain right now is what if we just took a lot of our ships, since the Americans don't have anybody here, what if we just took a lot of our ships and moved them into the East Coast, or the, maybe even the Caribbean, and we tried to start invading there? Like, what if we just throw a ton of ships, everything but our battlecruisers, into the East Coast, or uh, the Caribbean? It'll force the Americans to respond, unfortunately, so they have four dreadnoughts, four battlecruisers, 123 points we have. Well, all of our ships here are only 132 points, so that's not good. But that's actually because we have a lot of raiders there. If we took them off raiding, I think we would be, we'd have a chance. They might just move sh um, their ships from the east coast, though. Yeah, we don't have the 4 to 1 ratio, I think, which is necessary on the west coast. And one of the funny things is we're actually getting close to our base capacity here. So I don't like improving these things because we're likely, just as likely to lose them. Like, the, this is Southeast Asia is secure. We know that we're okay, but how are we doing on port space? Yeah, two, 27 out of 504. We're just absolutely fine over there. Um, West Africa and the Mediterranean are both places we've been raided. We don't have any shortage of, like, room for ships, except for in the Caribbean and except for uh, on the East Coast. But that's just because we don't have any territories there. So is it worth taking Nova, Co Nova Scotia? Likely, we're as likely as to lose it as anything. So let's just increase this as well. Continue to increase our capacity in the Caribbean. Maybe eventually we'll be able to make that, uh, we'll actually be able to put a lot of ships there. So 12 to 8, still not a good ratio. Cruiser action here. I kind of want to accept this. I do want to sink their ships, so what do we have? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Okay, well, this will be interesting. This is going to become a torpedo launching affair. So what we're going to do is launch torpedoes, get you into support. Hopefully this will move them into... Actually, I kind of just want to force them into line of breast immediately. Squad max. You as well. Actually, we'll probably head right at them with this ship, just so we avoid torpedoes as much as possible. Oh, they collided. Well, this is going to be great for our ability to hit them. <laughs> um, okay, fire those torpedoes, by the way. Just in case you weren't already going to do that. I don't think this is an armored cruiser. They only have light cruisers in this area. We're going to launch torpedoes. Maybe, maybe not. Well, the TV out needs to get the hell out of here. Up, oh, she's sinking, but look at that. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> I thought for sure that was a hit. Uh, bugger all. Okay, so it wasn't a hit. We're going to pursue with the champion, though. And uh, actually, we're going to pursue with our other ships as well. We're getting landing some fire. There she is, a Tallahassee class, 29 knots, 5,600 tons. It's a pretty good ship. We're going to let our um, champion class do most of the work. I think she has taken quite a few hits already. So we'll try to let Derwent just launch torpedoes obliquely. That's what I would like to happen. Huh. We're taking hits. Why is that? Oh, I have the wrong ship selected. This is crazy how much damage this ship is doing. Oh, okay, that's a lot of torpedoes. There's the ore. <laughs> so get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. It's probably going to be a hit. What? No hits? Oh my goodness. Well, there's another spread from the <laughs> ore. Not convinced. 
Oh, finally. Oh my god, finally. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Finally got a hit. So we lost one of our destroyers. It's a fair trade. I mean, for us. Ah. <sighs> Okay, this is their new Sh Lake Champlain. Champlain? I, this is an American the, near Michigan, I believe, and not one of the Superior Lakes or anything. Actually, I don't know where this is. Okay, I'll probably get some flack for this. That's fine, I don't care. But uh, anyway, the, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is truly an endgame battle. I would love for our... This is actually just basically equal to our Ajax class. They're a very fine match for each other. I think identical in terms of big guns, improved director. They have more belt, we have more turret. I think we have more deck. They have more battery, but that's not important to me. And I think we have about the same conning tower, so. Okay, 15, this is much more like it. And two to that's much more like it. Struck a mine. We're actually doing some damage, that's good to see. Convoy defense. Well, I'm going to decline this one because it ends up being usually destroyers versus light cruisers and stuff like that. I still will accept this. I don't know what... Oh, the U.S. Navy is declining. Okay. A fleet battle in the Caribbean. This is potentially really bad. We have good battle cruisers here, but we don't have... Well, I mean, they're not really good. They're our older fortune class. So I think we're better off declining this battle as well, which I will do. Coastal Raid here. This is interesting. I'm in the decline. Okay, so we're going to have to fight this then. I don't know why the Americans are intercepting our light cruisers in our sea zone. Like, how are they defending this area? But anyway, hopefully we can just sink another American ship. Okay, there's the ship spotted. Squad Max. We're at the correct um, wind angle. Not that it matters much. Actually, these are coal-burning ships, I believe. Yeah, the Comus class is coal, so this is actually still important. Oh, wow. Why are we taking so many hits? It's not ideal. Six, six, and This is quite a fine ship. We have much better armor, though. Yeah, we have improved director and everything, so... Okay, let's just go parallel and hope that we end up getting more shots off than they do. Well, not even getting more shots, more hits. That's really terrible. I'm shocked. We finally landed our first hit. Okay, there's two more. Four hit? This is incredible. Wow. Like, we are really going to lose this. Do they have, like, in some incredible amount of... I mean, this is a 5,800 ton... Granted, they have better, probably better armor configuration, but 212 versus 2, 2, 2.5, two, two, two and a half. Improved director. Wow, we're just we're just getting slaughtered. I guess this happens sometimes. We're not gonna get away. Just launch torpedoes if you can. I think we took off. Did we take off our torpedoes? The ship? No, we still have them. Uh, now would really be a good time to launch. Would have been a good time to launch. Still doing a little bit of damage, which I'm happy to see. Okay, dead stopped in the water. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Now we have bridge damage and all those things. Okay, yeah, so probably that's the end of her, but um, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that we did that poorly. There it is, okay. Still very surprised that we did that poorly, but that's probably gonna be like a thousand victory points the other way this time. That's fine. It's a fair enough swing. Interesting. So let's get you to go to active fleet. I'm still okay with doing a little bit of raiding. That's how we're going to win the war. Okay, two to one. Another, okay, fight another battle, I guess. We should be wearing down the... I mean, these little battles that you lose, though, they probably do give the American people less unrest. So we have to be a little more careful about losing those. Especially the big ones, but these small ones probably aren't that big of a deal. We're again getting drilled. Holy cow. What's up with our accuracy? You know, I haven't actually checked how our crew training is. Oh my gosh, did we just get... 
Holy cow. Submerged torpedo flathead. We're just, I mean, this just is not luck. Luck is not with us today. Okay, that's better. Now we're landing the last four hits. I don't know if they're doing much damage. Unless we're also hitting their submerged. Oh, I would say that's very unlucky. <laughs> it's just very... I don't know what's... Uh, I don't know what has gone on that is... I've cursed my art, like, even worse than usual, my, my luck. Well, whatever. Um, I guess we'll just take these guys off raiding. I mean, they're just not causing any good. Now, actually causing bad. So, we'll take everyone off raiding. And we'll just play the very slow game of dragging it out. There it is. That's what we're doing. I will keep accepting these. Okay, they've actually accepted. That's terrifying. Lowered sandwich. Okay, please. It's, it, this is fine. We just need to run away if it's too much for us to handle. We just need to sink one ship. Uh, let's just go steady as she goes in this direction, see if we run into something. Something, something, something. We're right near Nova Scotia, too. We can limp back to port. Something to consider. We sh should also build up a real head of steam so it's easier for us to run away. Stuff like that. Okay, unknown ship sighted. This is it. Well, maybe this is just a transport ship. Looks like a transport. I wish that we don't have to, I wish we didn't have to use our big guns. I wish I, again, could just ask us not to fire 16-inch guns. We do have, I think, well, the HX class, how many rounds does she have? Yeah, that's actually a lot. <laughs> but that's total rounds. That's not per turret, so... Just get really close, get our 16-inch guns... Okay, they heave to the abandoned ship. Fantastic. That's the one ship we have to sink, right? That should be the one ship we need to sink. It looks like the quickly it's going to be nighttime too, which is bad for us. Well, we do have good t torpedo protection at least, but let's just navigate this straight. No sign of ships. We can go back and just be happy about this. So, I mean, it'd be nice to catch them in range of our installation, though. I think I'll just circle for a little bit longer. We have nothing else to do with the remainder of the time anyway. Maybe make our way a little bit down to Portland. Portland, Maine, of course, not the main Portland, which is all the way over here. Not on the coast, but close to it. Yeah, it's going to be the end of this one. Riveting, as every coastal <laughs> engagement always is. Very, it's just a riveting mission. We're up against... Oh man, I would love to have encountered one of those, but that's okay. They were well hidden. Still, it's a victory. Victory is a victory. The end. The game's over. Well, we're going to keep going. Ah, advanced director. Awesome. 10 to 4. Not bad. Okay. We're still doing well. Um, I'm going to decline. I think it's better to decline these. A cruiser action. This is good because... Wait. Yeah, this is medium battle size. Victory points seems to imply that it's battle cruisers. I'm going to accept this one. Yeah, it is our battle cruisers. I probably should have declined because they might have better battle cruisers than us, but let's just see what happens. <sighs> okay. The big question is what do we have here? Max. We do have destroyers who can help us run away if we need, so let's just, wait, what are they doing? I want to get in between us and their port as well. We did land the first hit, which is nice. Okay, Randolph class, which is 15 inch guns, 11 of them. This is very deadly, but no, that look at that armor is so low, we're going to go for it. 
Turret destroyed already, my god. Holy cow, first hit, destroyed our turret. That's a hell of a first shot. Okay, but we're landing most of the hits. Okay. Uh, we were landing most of the hits. My f I swear, I swear, just swear. I'm so disappointed in the way things are going so far. <laughs> Detach. So I'm doing this so I can manually control the fortune, because otherwise I can't split this group. I don't actually want her to manually to go off. So I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to regain control of her. Okay. There. Let's go down to cruise. And let's set the adamant, adamant really just right after the Randolph. There's two more. Good. That's better. We've landed some good 14-inch hits, man. I have a feeling that this, this ship should be pretty heavily damaged. Um, Fortune is now limiting flooding. Notice that finally, for once, I'm sure people are breathing, breathing a huge sigh of relief. I'm actually trying to manage flooding by reducing speed. Um, yeah, yeah, we're in good shape here. So I'm going to go back to cruise speed just to make sure the Fortune... I don't think cruise speed will cause like a bulkhead rupture. So I want, but I want to pursue. I do want to pursue. In fact, I'm just going to go right at her. She should have much less speed now, and Adamant is still able to go full on. So let's turn in as well. Fortune is actually the one still hitting her, believe it or not. And Adamant just got hit, but it's a darn it. Fire started. Well, we're going to push on. Now we're returning fire successfully. That's good. I don't have any of this going on. Sorry. Okay, not the fortune adamant. Good, she is getting her full broadside off. That's what I wanted to make sure. Okay, stay on the course. Keep landing those hits. Come on. There's another one. Another one. Okay, good. Now I think we're in good shape. And they're even doing what I usually consider is the sign that their ship is trying to wave the white flag, or at least try to retreat, maybe not surrender. They're sending their destroyer in a what might be a torpedo run? No. And another unknown ship. Okay, this is cause for concern. We don't know what that unknown ship is. Ugh. Okay, I want to pause for a moment because this is a critical decision I'm making. I don't know what that new ship is. It could be another battle cruiser, but I don't think I finished off this ship yet. And I do want to make sure we stop her from getting back to port. So I am going to make the decision to fly after her. In fact, what I'm going to do is it's time for my screen. First of all, you should be a support ship. Although the fortune was originally the... Um, actually, she's heading in a direction which doesn't look like she'll be killed. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. You are now support. Very good. I'm going to manually control you, and we're going to go after this ship. You're my eyes. Hopefully you actually get ahead of the adamant. And the fortune is just... I mean, the adamant is now on her own. So, she doesn't have much damage. There's a fire started, but she's not on fire anymore. She's now... She's since put out the fire. Let's try to hunt down this ship. And it could be two battle cruisers. We could run in full into a whole fleet. I'm going to rely on the adamant speed to get out of the way of trouble. Her speed being what? I don't even, I don't even remember. Oh, 28 as well. Okay, that's a very good speed. Let's see if we spot. I think they'd be going back to port. So we're going to kind of try to... There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Engage with torpedoes. This is good. No, 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 no. Onward. Onward. You are now my screen. We're going to go right behind him, right behind with the battle cruiser, and next to them with the destroyers. We want those torpedo launches. 
but we don't want them launched against us. Now, which one are we going to take? The armored cruiser. There's the s torpedo spread I was looking for. Fantastic. Pull off. If that's not enough. Oh, God. <laughs> Zoomed in on an accident. Oh, that's looking good. All three missed. Ugh, such luck. Okay, go back to AI control, because I don't want to worry about you. They got one last one off. Also a miss. Ah. Okay, well, we're pounding. We're pounding this battle cruiser, And there she is, the Randolph class. We need to just turn away. I think we've already sunk her. Look at she, all her shit. All her... Yeah, she's gone. So the kills loss will not be in vain. Yeah, we're pummeling the crap out of her with our 14-inch guns. Um, I feel like if the Grenville can get a torpedo launch off, that'll secure it for us. We're still hitting them. Actually, we were able to do some damage to the Ericsson class with our Grenville. It's good to see. That is going right at the Adamant. Oh my god. Okay, good. So that, that should be the hit. There it is. Okay, good. So now let's just get out of here. In fact, I think that destroyer might be... Okay, no more torpedo launches, please. For fear of hitting me. Okay, there. Now let's go ahead and get out of here. We did our job. This is exactly what I was hoping to do. Let's go report back to the fortune and return to port. Okay, the Kale has sunk, but, you know, mission accomplished. One destroyer for one battlecruiser. It's a trade I'll take any day of the week. Really good stuff. Quite a good show. And this <laughs> fortune class is really making some speed. <laughs> it's just going 20. Slow down. Okay, you know what? I actually want to... Okay, I was going to say speed ahead to catch up with her. But that, that is huge. That is obviously just a huge blow to the Americans to lose one of their newer battle cruisers. Um, but I'm not going to count it as memorable. It's just really good turn of events, finally. Whew, I was really nervous after the fortune took a few hits, but we I think we did the right thing. We detached her, which got her off the line of fire. We pursued with the adamant, and then uh, we were able to catch her. That, that was a bit... It was like we did all the things tactically correct. We kind of guessed that she'd be heading somewhat back to port. We spread our destroyer screen out north-south with, with us to increase, increase our uh, search width. And we got her. Anything we want to do? I guess no, just keep going. And I think we're going to build the... Let's do this, see if the army does something. Good. It's a lot of ships being sunk. Costa Rica accept. Okay, this will probably be the last battle of the episode. Ooh, and we have both of them. Okay, well, <laughs> that's almost makes me nervous. But we've seen how to do it with the uh, other ships, and it's nighttime. But it's two thirty in the morning. That means at least the good news is it'll be daytime soon. We have our submarine over here. We detected a ship. Let's go 24 battle speed, basically, knowing that we'll probably soon, yep, be sighting some ships. Um, squad max, do we have here? Nope, this is a transport. So as soon as we sink her, we'll just go to hold fire. Okay, yeah, come on. Hold fire. I'm sure she's a goner if any of those hit. Again, there it is. Okay. Heaves to, abandoned ship, blah, blah, blah. He, heaves to, abandoned ship. Plus, we already hit them with... If we hit them with any of those 17-inch shells, I'm imagining those guys are quite interested. Okay, this is where things get interesting. Back to squad max. We're not going to open fire yet. One, for fear that we'll start attacking the wrong ship. But I'd love to identify what we have going on here. So the trio. The problem is I, I want to loop around, but I don't know how to do that. Okay, there, that one's gone. So we will once again return to firing. 
and we're opening fire. All right, the battle cruiser. Let's let's get to the battle cruiser. Um, I'd like to keep distance, so I'm gonna spin completely. Don't focus fire on the light cruiser. Get this ranger. Ah, the ranger. This is a great target. We will actually go drive hard at her, because there's almost no chance that she defeats our Ajax class, which should be just superior in every way, including, for once, in armor. It's very rare for me to say that my battle cruisers have better armor than anyone, but in this case we actually do. In fact, our armor is larger than their gun caliber, which is usually a pretty good sign that your armor stands a reasonable chance of, of uh, stopping penetrations. I mean, it's late enough in the war that penetration is pretty darn good, but still. I think we actually did land a hit on this Amsterdam, and she is reeling from it. Yeah, we're landing multiple hits. I want them to hit the Ranger, of course, but whatever. Oh, another unknown ship. This is not necessarily good. She's boldly charging at us. Okay. And another unknown ship. Oh, more battle cruisers. Now, this is interesting. What have we done to the Ranger so far? We have not done too much. So let's just keep our range with these battle cruisers and fight from range. See what happens. Hit one. I'm surprised they're right next to my submarine. I'm surprised we didn't actually engage them somehow. Okay, heavy gun, turret disabled. Okay, we have hit. We still don't know what these are. Waiting for the identification. Turret destroyed. My god, we have. 13 inch, oh my god, that could have been, yikes. I mean, that could have been a flash fire. Well, let's not risk it, let's get out of here. We did our damage, we're gonna go ahead and call it, call it a day. <laughs> if they wanna pursue us, I'm fine. I'm actually pretty content to fire our rear guns. Um, all right, let's, let's do this. Let's go to line ahead, sorry, line abreast. Let's go to line abreast. Cruise at 24, and let's just both open up with our rear guns. Um, excuse me? Did you, like, not get the order, line of rest? Oh god, he's waiting for... Okay, we have to go at an angle. There. That's... So what I need to do is like turn north, go line ahead until I turn north, and then turn east with line breast. What a pain in the bum. But this is already working. I mean, it's already giving us a few hits, which is good. And as we speed along, we'll try to uh, turn further north or south or something. Um, I know we've gotten a few hits off, but, okay, I think we gotta go, yeah, we're going squad max already, what the heck is going on here? Ah, there, oh, 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 we have him, oh, this is only the Oriskani, the Oriskani. We've actually destroyed one that, oh, this is beautiful, yeah, so they only have two, they only have four guns firing forward. We have five firing rear? We do. We have five firing rear. And what's better is one of them only has uh, one turret available. I just wish... Okay, let's do this. Let's go line ahead. Head north. Slow down to 26. Why, wait, why are you not going line ahead now? I think the AI control has something to do with it, but... Okay. See, they're not... Oh, it's turned together. This is the problem. It's the turned together thing. Okay, now we want to go line abreast, turn together, and turn... Let's just stay one like this, and now turn this way. Squad max. There we go. That's what I want. 
Now we have two ships being able to fire full with full like vision. They're kind of doing the same thing. They're, they're stealing my tactic, which I thought was brilliant. Okay, this is actually a Princeton class. I don't know what that is, but it well, it's the same thing. It may pretend it's a different ship, but it's not. Three and a half deck versus four, but we're close enough. I think we're actually not using... What's our range? Yeah, 18,000. I think this is probably belt penetrations at this point. Speed of use, 25. All right. And we, we lost our forward gun, but now we've nullified that disadvantage by only using our forward guns. I mean, rear guns. There's a couple of risk on it. A risk on it. Uh, a risk, a risk on it. I don't know how to just, I guess I just don't know how to pronounce things when I'm recording. Oriscani or Oriscani, but I think it's Oriscani. Side an unknown ship, that's another merchant ship though, we're not going to worry about that. Destroyer? I don't think so. Oh, it's sighting these ships, okay. Keep landing your blows. Oof, we took one hit. I mean, it's not that bad, it's just a belt penetration, but damn it. Why are we only firing two or three heavy guns? Why are we not firing five? This is my question. Okay, minus 10, plus 10, minus 10, plus 30. Final rate of fire. Why is this adjusted so bad? Huh. We low on ammunition? Not particularly. Very strange. Well, let's just keep going. This is the numbers game. If I want to play statistics, that's all we can do. That's another good two hits. Okay, there was oh, that's so many hits. I mean, we're playing the numbers game perfectly. I, this doesn't even show the front turret. I was like, that one doesn't even have super firing. We're just this perfect situation and dealing just brutal damage to these. These are plus the Ajax 16 inch guns. We actually outgun them, and we out our each individual gun is out like larger caliber. Oh, this is beautiful. This one has nothing left firing forward. Yes, please follow me. If not, we'll come back for you. Ugh, deck penetration. That's not good. Now it's a two on one against the Princeton. Another big decision to make here. Basically, do we turn back? This Princeton does not have any problems with it. It doesn't have any um, turrets destroyed or jammed or anything. So we'd lose a significant advantage that we've already gained by turning. I think I'm going to play it safe and just try to do two on one. See if we can get this a few turrets knocked out on this one. Let's slow down a little bit though. We know the other one's in... Okay, let's just try to mark. The other one is probably south of this, just directly south of this tooth, and just a little bit north of this uh, sunk ship. So I'm guessing it's like right here. That's about where it was, right? We can come back for it. There's another hit. Just a few more of those, and I'm willing to turn around. Don't make me turn this thing around. I will. I want to keep slowing down. Okay, no. We're going to go squad max. We're going to make our turn. Oh, so 24 is our squad max. Interesting. So let's go back to line ahead. Let's do the flotilla attack. I don't know if it's going to be helpful, but and let's turn to the south. Come on in defeat. <laughs> that's, not the that's not the direction I expected you to turn. Okay, we got a hit off, thankfully. Bridge damage. That's not going to be good. Let's turn this way if we can and head back towards the other ship, hopefully isolate her and sink her solo. What I could do is also I could actually peel the Lord Sandwich off, but her damage is not... Actually, she's the one with the full turrets as well. The Indefatigable is the one that lost a turret. So yeah, they're going to continue on together then. We're still landing good hits on the Princeton. Another one, another one, wow, another one. Four... Five, six, fantastic damage. 
I'm almost loath to let her go in pursuit of the other one, but we know the other one doesn't even have any turrets left. Wow, actually, okay, forget it. We've landed so many hits in succession that we're going to go after this Princeton. Another one. I, oh, I'm kind of splitting the difference. Okay, should have been just over here. We should basically see that one by now. Still landing hits, though. My goodness. Okay, let's go after her, and we'll go back for the other one. Max. I don't know her speed, though. Is she actually still traveling faster than us? We don't appear to be gaining on her. All right, well, the Princeton was the newer ship, so let's go back for the one that had destroyed turrets. Somewhere over here. Probably heading towards port. Let's just try to head her off. Could it be? Is it her? I think it is. I have a good feeling about this. Yes, indeed. All right. Now, we know this one's down two turrets, so this should not be much of a battle. The only, in fact, the worst thing for us to do is just trail her, because that's where all of her active turrets are. Okay, good. Wow! Still didn't land the first hit against a really damaged ship. There we go. That's better. Ah! They're doing the old pincer move. Well... It's probably lights out for her. She hasn't been able to repair any of her turrets, so she's only firing four guns. We're firing a lot more than that. And indeed doing a lot of damage. Uh, it looks like she's going to come to a stop in the water. Heavy damage. Lots of shells landing. This is good. Really, really, really good. Okay. So let's actually peel back south, and maybe, if we're really lucky, we can end up sinking both. And wouldn't that be a victory to write home about? Let's go after the, the errant um, Princeton class. Somewhere over here. Maybe we'll get lucky. What is this? Oh, well... I think we got lucky. There she is. We are being pursued by another ship, though. This is cause for concern, in my opinion. We're going to stay wind side. I don't know what this ship is. It's just... The balls on it are just kind of scaring me, though. It is just a destroyer. And this is the Princeton class. We have tracked her down at last. Landing a few hits on this Perkins. Ah, and the battle cruiser I saw as well. Unknown ship. I think this is just the escort for the Princeton. You know what we're going to do is go squad max, indefatigable, it looks like she still has maximum speed, she'll close and we'll actually detach, I think we'll have to detach the Lord's Sandwich. I don't want to lose this one. What is she, what is her game though, like what is her plan here? What is this? <laughs> okay, I don't think any of them are close enough. We're still hitting this battle cruiser, which still is, gosh, just moving along. Still moving right along. There it is, Princeton class with one. Okay, the forward gun is destroyed. That's good to know. So, really, we'd like the situation to be reversed. We'd like to be uh, being pursued by her. C A S. Oh, oh yeah. Well, okay, we knew that. 5-inch guns are starting to go to work as well. We do have to watch out for torpedoes. That is one thing we have to be careful about. We're hitting all these darn destroyers. Like, get the heck out of here. Yeah, exactly. Go away. They're doing their job. Oh, this one's spinning in circles. I don't... It's probably not... Ah, uh, we're still landing those 16-inch shells. Another Princeton 16-inch hit. What's her speed, though? 29 inches. She's just cruising along. What is her um, rated speed? 29 knots, okay. She's only able to fire two guns at us right now. We're only able to fire two at her, 
with our wait. Ah, our Ford. The Lord Sandwich is completely completely out of ammunition, and uh, the Ford gun here is completely destroyed. So it doesn't matter how much ammunition she has; only a little bit left in the in superimposed as well. Oh, she's hit by a torpedo. Actually, that's pretty interesting. Let's see how she's doing with that. Okay, reasonable amount of flooding. I'm going to try to pursue a little bit longer. Lord Sandwich is avoiding torpedoes. Okay, I'm naive. I don't know what range torpedoes have, but this is an incredibly long range. Wow, avoiding a lot of torpedoes. Oh, she detached. Okay. Your squad max is this. Your squad max. Okay, that's fine. So let's go ahead and take advantage of the fact that we're able to pincer her off here. Looks like all their their load has been shot, basically. And the Princeton does look like she's starting to slow down. So we finally have gotten a few good, hit, good hits on her. Let's make it so that she can't go either way without taking shells from us. And the best thing will be to get our rear guns firing. Yeah, we're doing a lot of damage. This is looking really good now. Okay, got our middle guns firing there. I guess our rear one is also inactive. Okay, Wait, does this mean our aft guns are also? Yeah, geez, we have like no ammunition left. So that is really something to say about the, well, this is battle cruisers. Dreadnoughts are probably not gonna be in the engagement as long. We're starting to hit with five inch guns. <laughs> okay, there's still some more 16 inch shells hitting. Let's just get close and blast her to pieces. That, she's dead. Dead stop now. We probably don't need to even be moving this quickly. We're limiting flooding on the indefatigable, which is really good to see. Flooding down to four. I don't think we'll have time to return to port, so hopefully that won't be an issue. Um, the, you know, still fl having flooding. But th let's just bring her down to 16. Let's bring the Lord Sandwich. Do you have any flooding? You're fine, so we'll keep you at 24 for now, but um, just to be really on the safe side and lots of lots of hits. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. She's on fire. All turrets are destroyed. That's usually a good sign that she's going to go down. Okay, that's going to call this good enough. We're going to turn for home. So we'll have you go down to cruise speed just to reattach basically with the okay unknown ship interesting who might this be because if it's another battle cruiser we won't we don't want any part of it sorry not anymore we're done with that up oh, it's nighttime again already we've reattached let's cruise on home nice 14 victory speed ultra wow fantastic well this is a nice long episode make up for the fact that it's been a little while since the last video and there it is. Two lightly damaged battlecruisers, two sunk American ones. In fact, we did damage to another battlecruiser. Which one even was this? Oh, the Ranger! That's right, I completely forgot about her. Well, she lived, but the two important ones did not. And that is just a massive victory. 10 to 1 on the victory point scale. Really good. I'm sure this is going to be like probably 8,000 in terms of victory points. Wow, even more. I mean, a net gain of 12,000 um, thereabouts. It's a fantastic job. Lots of victory points. We gained two um, prestige points, which means probably the Americans took a little bit more of a hit to unrest. So I'm going to wrap this video up here, but things are really going well in this war. Finally, our game plan is coming together. And I know I'm saying that, but it's just, a, you know, after such trials for so much <laughs> of this series... It's nice to see a plan finally coming together. So, anyways, thanks for watching this episode, and until the next one, take care.